Leadership. Community service. Aerospace and STEM. Emergency services. Wingmanship. This is the Captain Bud Jackson Composite Squadron. Everyone, this is Cadet Master Sergeant Kakad from the Captain Bud Jackson Composite Squadron in the New Jersey Wing. In this video, I'm going to give a brief overview of the model rocketry program in Civil Air Patrol, as some aspects are functioning in the current situation, and then give a demonstration of open rocket software. The program has three stages, Redstone, Titan, and Saturn. What happens once you complete these three st stages? You get a shiny little badge that you can pin to your blues uniform. How fun is that? Now the Titan and Saturn stages require you to build a rocket that needs a solid propellant to launch and you actually need to go outside to launch it. Given the current situation, you can't do that. That's why we have the Open Rocket software. It allows you to build a rocket of any form and simulate its launch. Today, I will show you how to simulate the Black Brand 3 rocket I ordered from Estes. You can use these instructions to simulate any other rocket. Before starting your build, I would recommend writing down the dimensions of your rocket in person as this software does ask for measurements. First comes the nose cone. The nose cone for my rocket is conical with a length of 14.5 centimeters and a base diameter of 2.1 centimeters. Now this nose cone is actually made out of PVC. After this comes the body tube. The body tube of my rocket is 35.5 centimeters long and it has an outer diameter of 2.2 centimeters. This is made out of cardboard. After the body tube comes a transition. Now not all rockets have a transition, but a Black Brand 3 does. The length of the transition is about 1.2 centimeters. Its four diameter is about 2.1 centimeters. Its aft diameter is about 2.4 centimeters. Now the transition is also made out of the same material as the nose cone. After this, some of the really important component comes in, the fins. An amazing thing that you can do in Open Rocket is you can change the shape of the fins and design them to be however I want. So in the fins tab, you need to click the freeform fins and then come to the shapes tab where you can change the shape of the fins. We have our beautiful fins ready. As you can see, after adding the fins, our center of pressure, represented by this red dot, is below our center of gravity, represented by this blue dot. Another important component that goes on the body tube are the launch lugs. Now, a Black Brand 3 has two launch lugs, one on the middle part of the parent component and another on the bottom part of the parent component. Both of them are in similar dimensions. We have our launch lugs on. We insert the parachute. A parachute is really important. Without this, our rocket would just crash into the ground. After inserting our parachute, we will insert a inner tube as this will act as our engine mount.
After this, we are ready to launch our rocket. How do you do that? You go up to this tab called Motor and Configuration. You want your motor mount to be your inner tube. After that, you add a new configuration, select motor, and select the kind of engine you want to use. Not all motors are compatible with all rockets. In order to find out which motor would work best with your rocket, you can check the instruction manual you use to build your rocket or simply search it up. For this launch, I'm going to be using a C59. After that, you go to Flight Simulations as you want a, to simulate a launch of this rocket. Click on the simulation, Plot, Export, Plot. This motion graph shows you the altitude, vertical acceleration, and vertical velocity. As you can't launch the rocket in person, the simulator displays information regarding the path of the rocket during launch. If you would like additional information on how to interpret motion graphs, there will be a video released soon. Hopefully, I helped you out in understanding how to use OpenRocket software.